David Morgan of The Morgan Report is here to talk about silver today. David, retail investors can't even buy silver bars and coins right now. The physical demand right now is so high, there's no supply. What's going on? There's so much demand that it can't be filled. And, uh, you know, it's going to be back ordered. It'll Let be me rephrase my question. Why is there so much demand right now? Well, it's a combination of things, but primarily it's this Wall Street's bet group that proved that if there's enough buying power, they can take out these short sellers. Nothing has been sold short stronger and longer than the silver market. So somebody in that group or somebody's in that group, yeah. it's my understanding, said, hey, let's get to the silver market. What's interesting about the silver market is it's not a stock. So you don't need a brokerage account. All you need to do is phone up Kitco and place an order. So there's no, you know, double checking or waiting you know, a week for your paperwork to clear and you can have an account. No, I just call up and say, I want to buy some silver. When they call up and say, I want to buy some silver, say, that's fine. It's going to be, you know, I don't know what it is. I won't misquote you, David, but Kitco may say four weeks, six weeks, eight weeks. I don't know. We've seen this before. It happened in the, uh, in the 2008 financial crisis, silver hit about nine bucks and we're paying about 13. It was like a 30% premium on most silver retail products, but it was a silver retail product shortage, not a silver shortage. The silver market is quoted on commercial bars. We're not short of commercial bars yet, but there was such a demand for commercial bars for big investors because they look at uh, thousand ounce bars the way, you know, big investors look at hundred ounce bars. It's just a bar of silver. I'm going to buy this many. There was over like 300 million in the SLV last year. This is unprecedented. There's nothing been nearly that much investment demand for commercial bars ever that I know of. And so now we're seeing this Wall Street's group, Reddit, all the chat rooms. I mean, basically the silver market's on fire in the social media. People that were never aware of it or given up on it or never thought about it. And so you got this kind of adjunct group, David, this group of people that got burned in the 2008 financial crisis, got hurt in uh, the stock market crash. They okay. lost their pension. They got kicked out of their house. And now they see a way to buy silver and kind of get even, if you might think of it, by yeah. buying something that's real. And uh, it's easy to do. So there's a huge demand right now. Here, how long will it last and how high will it go? No one knows right now. Here's what I don't understand. This The short squeeze in silver it didn't start today. It started a few weeks, sorry, a few days ago. And of course, today is sort of an escalation of what's already been happening. But if you if you make parallels to GME, the stock, GameStop, AMC, you know, if, if we're making the assumption it's the same crowd of people, the Wall Street betters pushing it up, well, those stocks went up 10 times more than that. 10, 20 times in a matter of a week. Silver didn't move nearly as much. In fact, today as we speak right now, since the 6 p.m. Eastern time open, it's only up about, what, two bucks? So yeah. I, I don't know. If, if you made that assumption, you'd be disappointed at silver's price right now. Are you surprised that it didn't move up anymore? Not at all. I mean, I spoke with someone that was uh, intimate with the Hunt brothers. He called me. I've known him for years. We don't chat that often. And he asked me what I thought about all this. And uh, we both agreed that, you know, I believe and can prove and wrote in the book, The Silver Manifesto, all markets are manipulated, but silver probably more than any other. And uh, we agreed on this phone conversation that, you know, you're going against some pretty tough people when you're going against the professionals on Wall Street that short stocks. But when you're going against the master manipulators of all time, which is the silver shorts, you're up against the greatest sharks out there. Doesn't mean it can't be done. The hunts proved it can be done. All they did was buy physical and who futures. Are, I don't mean to interrupt you, but who are these greatest sure. sharks out there? Basically, the working group on financial markets. It's the head of the SEC, the CME, the CFTC, the and all these you know entities. And most of them are doing a job that their job description would be to protect us, but really it is to not protect us. It's to protect the big money interests of Wall Street not the investing public. So that's been turned around by this Wall Street bets group. And people are starting to wake up and see it's not just the precious metals that have been suppressed like this. It's basically almost anything you want to name, GME being a prime example. What if we had to push silver, the futures market, up 10, 20 times like GameStop and AMC? What needs to happen on the demand side? How much more volume do we need to see in the market right now? No one knows. I would say if we doubled what we saw last year. So in other words, first of all, no one sells. You can't have any selling pressure, whatever. Okay. 
So everyone that owns it now is waiting for delivery holds. Now, on top of that, if you got somewhere in the 250 to 350 million ounces, what we saw go to the SLV last year, and no one's selling at the same time, I think that'd be enough. I think the market's that tight. Obviously, the retail market's that tight. How tight is it in the silver market, the silver commercial bar market? Right now, all the bullion banks only have about 150 million ounces that's in the registry category. But what will happen, I mean, we've already had a precursor several times, David. We saw it happen to the Hunt Brothers that changed the rules. The rules already exist on the COMEX that you can only take 1,500 contracts in any delivery month, which is only 7.5 million ounces of silver. Now, Craig Hempke has done some good work there, drilled down, because there have been delivery months that have gone over that amount. The last thing the COMEX wants to do is default, but by their rule book, they never can because by their rule book, they'll just say, look, it says in the case of a force majeure, you have to settle in cash. We settled in cash where you did not renege on the contract. That's the paper game you're playing. Ultimately in the paper game, if it gets to the point of no return, they'll give you paper for paper, but they won't be able to deliver silver. That's yeah. what we're shooting for. If that were to happen, I'll just finish quickly, you'll go to a cash market. I mean, we used to have a milk on the futures exchange, eggs on the futures exchange, we have a milk and egg market today. It's a cash market. It's a free market, more or less, that you just, you need the eggs, you need the milk. What are you going to buy today? You're going to pay this amount. Okay, deal done. The retail market that's pushing the stocks or the price up. Now, this market, are they are they moving into the paper market, the futures, or are they moving into the physicals? Because there there is a difference here. What do you think is going on? Absolutely a difference. Go, going across the board. The big money is going to the SLV. There was like, I think it was like 35 million ounces Friday. That's a lot. That's one tenth of what took place all year last year in one day. And last year's 300, 350 million ounces. I don't know the exact numbers. Mm-hmm. The silver studies aren't out yet, but the Silver Institute kind of leaked the number. So I'm using their number. So that's unprecedented. I mean, just think of that went 10 days in a row, David. You'd be looking at the highest amount of silver deliveries ever last year, 2020, with some clear vision in the silver market, taking place again this year, which I think looks like it's possible. Now you've got a problem. You're not going to be able to make good on all that silver in physical form. In derivative form, it's unlimited. You can make as much paper silver as you want. And as long as people are satisfied with paper silver, the game can continue on indefinitely. Mm-hmm. 